Are you ready to see your new house? Yes. Hi, I'm Jason. My wife and I buy single family homes, fix them up a little bit, and hold them as rentals. In this series, I show you what that process looks like. Stay tuned. All right, I'm just pulling up to floor and decor now. I'm gonna grab some backsplash. I also need to buy those little threshold pieces that go in between it for the smooth edges. But aside from that, I'm not gonna be buying mortar or grout. I think I have enough of that at home. Backsplash, it's one of the easiest things you can do to a kitchen. It doesn't take a whole lot of skills or tools. If you hire it out, it's gonna cost you thousands of dollars. You can do it yourself for just a few hundred bucks. Hopefully you have a floor and decor in your area. It might even be worth making a long drive to get there. The selection is massive. If you're looking at Home Depot or Lowe's for flooring stuff, don't even bother. They have nothing in comparison. Transition profiles, I would have never remembered that. The hardest part about Backsplash is getting started, making sure you have a flat level surface to work with. But you can see here, I'm already halfway up the wall. Subway tiles are very easy to work with. All you need is a nice tile cutter. You can get this for about 70 bucks. It does help to have an angle grinder for making cuts that are going behind outlets. You're also gonna need some tile mortar to glue it to the wall and sealer, which is the last step. You're also gonna want a high quality grout. I always go for the stuff that's pre-mixed. It's just so much easier to work with. There's a little bit of skill involved with this, but as you can see, it's just a matter of repeating this step over and over until that crack is completely filled. This process is time sensitive. You don't want any of this grout drying on top of the tiles. It gets extremely difficult to get off. I'm able to grout this wall before the others because this was finished yesterday. So I know this tile adhesive behind it is 100% dry. Definitely have a sponge nearby and make sure you're keeping this moist and wiping away access as you go. I had a few options with this backsplash. I could have taken it straight up to the ceiling and then crossed over, but I've seen pictures. Sometimes that looks more like a bathroom and I wasn't too sure. So I went with the alternative here. I think it looks okay. And that's about 75% up that window. Carry that across over to here. Did all of this. Again, I had the option of taking this here, but I mean, there was really no reason to. I didn't want to overdo it. And I think this looks okay, having the light switch outside of that with this metal border there. I'm fine with that. Once I replace these outlet covers, give everything a nice cleaning, it'll be looking real good. I still gotta do caulk tomorrow. Sealing the tile after the job is done is as easy as it sounds. You wipe it on with a clean rag, wait five minutes, and then wipe it off. All right, so I finished up in about an hour and 20 minutes, which is great timing. I think this is the best I've ever done on caulk. Not to say that it's perfect, but I think what I've been doing wrong in the past, I've been giving myself too much surface space, even though I was taping top and bottom, I was making it too wide and it was just becoming a mess. This time around, what I did is give myself the smallest slither possible of blue tape between the top and bottom, and I just put it basically under the subway tile, not over it like I've been doing. I'm packing up and I'm out of here. So right here, as you can see, I'm swapping out these smaller screws for sort of a medium length like that. Once you add backsplash to the wall here, 
The smaller screw usually doesn't reach, or if it does reach, it just gets a couple threads in there. So I wanted to make sure I had the right one. And then I was trying to find a nice um, outlet plate cover. I was looking for solid metal, but they didn't have what I needed. So I went with this uh, particular one that sort of conceals the screw. It's a little bit of an upgrade. I think it looks okay. See how easy that was guys? It's so easy in fact anybody can do it. Before you start getting quotes from contractors, consider doing it yourself. I got more projects coming up in the same house. Stay tuned for more videos. Hit that thumbs up button on the way out. I'll see you next time. Bye.